Hi everyone, it's Steve, and I am going to be letting my expression out more and more because that's part of my own healing journey, that's part of my own personal growth path to really let out more of an embodied expression. And this is really interesting for me to share with you because it allows me a place to share something that I'm passionate about to serve things that I believe in and that I see and pick up on and want to express to you for your own paths. And a lot of it is a little spicy, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I see things happening more and more that kind of tick me off a little bit, make me frustrated with all of the distractions out there that are available to us at every waking moment to really deter us from ourselves, to deter us from our own personal power, our own discernment and intuition, from our own bodies and the intelligence that it emits and that resides within it. So I'm excited to get into this. And so each day, each um, transmission, we'll call it, I'm going to dive into a different topic that is really going to just cut through the BS that I'm seeing in spirituality, in healing, in how we view the body and its expressions. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just take a moment to tap in of what wants to come through. So I'm going to sit here and let it come through and then I'll communicate it. Okay, came pretty quick. So the thing that I've been seeing more and more is this idea, <laughs> this preaching that we can just overpower the body with the power of the mind. This sort of putting the mind on a pedestal to be like, oh, this is the ultimate control center. And when we go into it, we can just create anything we want. But it's completely disregarding the body and the nervous system and its wisdom that it's designed to operate from a place of keeping us safe the nervous system, right? So if, for example, we're thinking thoughts, like we want to create a, a quote unquote better reality, right? There's a lot of man manifestation buzz out there. Um, and it's rooted in this idea of, oh, you just like change your thoughts and you change your reality. It drives me crazy because it's leaving out a huge part of the picture, which is what about the body? What about our emotions and what we're feeling and picking up on? What about our nervous system? For example, maybe someone's current experience with joy, for example, and they like want to feel more joy, but their current reality is that joy doesn't actually feel safe in their body and nervous system. And so if they get into this place of, well, I'm going to think thoughts of joy and that will get me into the place of joy. But underneath it, it doesn't actually feel safe to experience joy. They're basically working against the current. <laughs> and there's a lot of messaging about this of, oh, just put yourself in this state of joy and bliss and just like feel good things. And it drives me crazy because we're not designed to feel certain things. We're designed to feel all things because that's how we are. That's how we're designed to be as humans. And a lot of spiritual teachings bypass that. Or there's a lot of narratives around there are good and bad emotions like there are good and bad emotions to feel and like if if there's a bad one we should just put ourselves out of it and into something higher and it's like right there you're completely 
disengaging from a whole part of your spectrum. And in that, in that bypassing, in that going around this naturally occurring thing within you, you actually reject this part of yourself. Like it's that simple. And I see this happening all the time of like, I just got to think better. I've got to feel higher vibrations and I can't give my energy or space to any of that lower stuff or any of that negative stuff. <laughs> Again, we're a full spectrum. We're designed to feel all there's a purpose to, for example, anger. It riles us up. Like transformation occurs in the anger. Part of the purpose of anger is to actually show us what we care about. Like if some, if you see something that makes you angry, underneath it's like showing you what you actually care about. Right? If you see an injustice happening out there and it makes you angry, it's like, well, you desire more equality then. Right. So I'm just saying like a lot of people that I speak with, for example, have no clue how to interface with anger. And I'm not judging them for that because, hey, I was there, too. But it's this conditioning. There's so much conditioning around what we should and shouldn't feel. That somehow we can overthink it <laughs> like we can use our mind to overpower this intelligence can't do it. It's, it's part of our design. There is a purpose to being able to feel the full spectrum. Now, I'm not talking about times where we are, we let sort of the emotional current of maybe like past pain and trauma like dictate us. I'm, what I'm saying is allowing ourselves to feel what's arising fully getting into the body and actually letting ourselves be in it to be witness to it to experience it and create with it versus deny it that's the difference and that to me is crucial for bringing ourselves into greater wholeness to creating positive change or change that we wish to see in the world otherwise we're just disregarding we're rejecting all these parts and pieces of ourselves that are too uncomfortable but that's where the magic is we need to include them and bring them to the table in order to experience the full gamut for example we can't know joy without knowing what sadness is or grief Right? That, like we need it all and we're designed to experience it all and we're designed to create with it all. These emotional currents, these feelings, they're energy. And as creators with energy, we're tapped in. We're all part of source energy. We're part of whatever you want to call it, the divinity, the divine intelligence, higher energy, whatever you, what your phrase is for it. We're actually designed to create with it versus be victim to it. And so when we try to scoot around these naturally occurring energies that are coming to us, we're here to interface with them. We're here to create with them. So if anger comes in, we're not here to like push it away or just like bleh, cast it on someone. It's like, no, I can, I can take this anger in. I can honor and feel it and work with it. And what's actually here? Oh, it's, for example, it might actually like create a passion. Like a passion can arise within us. And we can work with that. We can create something of inspired action with that. So again, this is also working with the spirit. This is working with the body. This is including all aspects of ourselves versus just using the mind to determine what's right or wrong, determine what to go with or not. This is bringing on a different 
system of navigation, our divine intelligence that resides within us and letting that lead more and more. And that allows our brain a heck of a lot of relief. We can set down all the mental gymnastics and really hone in with the purity of the energy and what it wants to create with us, what it wants to bring to us versus getting caught up in the meaning maker and getting caught up in all of our stories with it because that's really just jamming up the energy and we're we're masters at going into those convoluted paths of the intellect and making stories and meaning out of the energy but working with the purity of energy letting it actually express the way it's designed to and its pure essence puts us in the spot of creator it puts us into flow so again we're designed to feel it all we're designed to create with it so that was the first transmission that wanted to come through and i encourage you to marinate on it contemplate it sit with it and see what arises for you take care